Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today back with y'all for another video. Today we are back and we have the Mermaids Mermaids Miss Um Ariana Grande inspired doll. I forgot Hermonique, that's her name. Um <laughs> this doll's name. This is my favorite Mermaids Mermaids doll so far, I think, out of the series one dolls that I've bought. Um I mean only like from aesthetics that I've seen so far. Like this is my favorite doll that I've, you know, saw when the pictures came out and I've always wanted her. But the dolls went on a twelve dollar sale on Target and Amazon. So I got her then. I'm trying to get this video out before that sale goes off. It was an amazing sale, I think twelve dollars for these dolls. It's kind of good. Um, but the box is not. Um, I still hate these boxes. I've been talking about them in every review. Um, nothing too crazy though. I do like this picture of her and the logo is really nice. Um, we do have on the back some more pictures of Miss Harmonique and the gang all together. We have, I guess, follow their fins to discover something amazing, which I did not know that was, like, the little catchphrase. On the bottom, we do have the barcode. So if anyone's still hunting for these dolls, they've been out since springtime. Here's the barcode. I don't know if you even need that anymore. They're probably very accessible, but I always like to give it anyway. This doll is really excited and I'm, it's really exciting and I really can't wait to get her out of the box. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet with y'all in just a minute. Alright, so just from taking Miss Harmonique out of the box, I can already tell you this doll is my favorite mermaid's doll. She is beyond stunning. Um, I'm gonna go over the, the boring things. The first thing we come with is this kind of, like, purse. It's like a translucent kind of thing. It, there's nothing much happening. There's, like, some cool, like, shell handles. A really nice chain. You can put it over her, like, little shoulder, or you can have her hold it like this, even though holding it like that kind of, looks kind of stupid. You can't really take it off. But it's a really nice piece. Um, but yeah, that's all that she really comes with. She has, like, the instructions, like, every mermaid's doll has. But nothing too crazy with her. But this doll is so stunning. She's a little bit top-heavy. Um, you can kind of see her head will lean to the left a little bit. Um, even with, you know, just moving it. Because that's kind of how the ponytail works. But her hair is really cool. So she has, like, a couple different colors in her hair. The main color is just a kind of baby bu bubblegum pink. There are streaks of white in there kind of mixed in. In this, it looks to be, like, a shiny nylon. The front strands of hair, though, are the these two little tendrils they are like a more hot pink color and they are kind of curled with a gel really really nice though back to this ponytail it is so cool it's kind of like a bubble braid where there's a bunch of pieces and it's curled at the end the braid actually though has a bunch of like little like um these are, like elastics i think they're not like hard plastic like i thought they would be they're like a um rubbery kind of material which is really cool they're all silver and the big one is up here and i did notice that under i guess this is a full piece but under this is like a wrap ponytail which is really nice in her hair, she also has this little microphone detail, which is really cool. It's like a headband. It is just rubber banded to her head and box, and I'm probably not going to take that off because I'm going to lose that and it's never going to go back on. Her face, though, is amazing. I do have a wonky eye where this eyeliner is a little bit, um, you know, it looks a little bit worse than the other one. But again, I paid $10 for this doll. I can't really be too mad because other than that, like, this doll has a perfect face. Like, she looks so pretty. Like, the makeup itself is so cool. I love the graphic liner. The eyeshadow is cool, too. I don't even mind the blue eyes. And, like, the shimmer, though, is so pretty. Like, I love the contrast of a lighter shimmer in the inner crease and a darker shade on the outer. I think it makes the eye look super snatched and super gorgeous. Her lips, though, are also really pretty and full. There's this baby pink shimmery moment, and they do have a little bit of um, teeth showing, which I think is so fun. Um, Miss Harmonique, though, is wearing these cool little earrings. These are, like, pearl earrings. Um, they're really cool. Harmonique's whole vibe is very much Ariana Grande sweetener to me, and that does not stop, obviously, with these sleeves. I think this whole top is a reference to one of her, I think, is it Coachella looks, or it might just be her regular Thank You Next, um, sweetener tour outfit. I don't remember exactly one. I haven't caught up with my Ariana in a minute, but these sleeves are really cool. They're, like, a puffy, kind of, like, thinner, sheer material, and they're nice, it's like hemmed and everything, so that's really cool. I think it's constructed very nicely. And the actual top of this is like a um, neon pink kind of v-neck silhouette, and it looks so good. It is, again, a Velcro in the back. So nice. And the sleeves actually show this molded-on bracelet, which I'll take that. I'll, yeah, I could just roll it up now. Um, the bracelet's cool. It is painted on, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's a nice bracelet, and it's painted nicely, so I don't mind it too much. And she does also have these rings on her kind of... Um, I guess her right hand, right? Yeah, <laughs> sometimes I don't know, but um, it's a really nice ring. I love them. Moving down, though, below the shirt, we have this kind of three-piece corsetting material where it's all done in a couple different pieces, but it all looks very similar as it is, again, that same material. The first piece, let me set it down. The first piece I've been kind of take off is the, um, I guess, the kind of ring one. She's not going to stay. Um, whatever, she died. This is the first piece, and it's really cool. I love the little um, metal detail. Not really metal, but it's like a plasticky material. 
And the other piece that we have from her is this kind of corset, which is like pink and it has rhinestones all over it. The rhinestones have not fallen off yet, which is a really nice sign. And the last piece, I'm not gonna take this off, but it's a kind of like a tail like chain, I guess. It's really cool. It has these little like, um, not like chains, but like little like detail, I guess. It's not pl metal, I don't think. It's like a plastic, but it's like beaded. So the beads look so good. And she also has a pocket. And below the pocket is this kind of like a extended piece. I don't even know what that would be called, but it's cool. The tail is also really nice. It's kind of like shapey. I don't even know, like amethyst-y, I guess. But it's really nice. It like shines differently in the light. The main color is a blue, but it also does kind of turn into a purpley pink on the sides. The back is that same kind of blue. And the fin is a pinky kind of um purpley thing i am so far i've not really dealt with any chipping on this tail i know a lot of people have dealt with the chipping maybe it's just like a first batch issue i have no idea but there's been no chipping on mine yet so i'm super grateful for that and i hope it stays that way because harmonique i can confidently say right now is my favorite mermaids mermaids doll um jordy though is going to be a close second and i do have kishiko in the mail um, I don't know when she'll be arriving because Amazon sometimes delays that just fell on the floor. We'll <laughs> delay their stuff, so I'll get her eventually. But so far, Miss Um Harmonique is stunnelicious. I think um I was like low-key debating like a couple days ago, like or even, even today, if I really even want to keep my mermaids dolls or if I just want to sell them off in a lot or give them away or whatever. And this doll kind of cemented the line a little bit more into my collection, I think. I think if I did have to sell them all, this would be the one doll I keep. I think she is beyond stunning, and I love the references um, as an Ariana Grande fan that she has. I think she's so pretty. Like, even, like, the fishy, uncanny face looks good on her just because of the lips. My one complaint, though, is I wish she wasn't rooted as thickly in the hair. I wish she was rooted a little bit thinner because, again, a ponytail doll doesn't really need that much hair, in my opinion. I feel like we could have gotten away with a little bit less because she's, again, very top-heavy. Or I wish the, um, like, the braid and the, um, ponytail was more in the center rather than off to the side. Um, obviously, I can fix that. Very petty issues. Um, and, but I haven't really dealt with any of the chipping yet or any, like, other issues, so I don't really have any complaints about those. Um, and I don't really do the water testing stuff because, like, I don't care, or, like, whatever. Um, I don't really want to mess her gel up. I think the gel looks good in her hair. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any that many complaints about this doll. Um, I think she's super cute and super fun. Um, and I love her. Please let me know, though, in the comments below what you think about Miss Harmonique. And if you love her, if you have her, if she's on your wish list, whatever that team may be. Again, she should still be only $12 as I am uploading this. Hopefully, she can even go down in price during, you know, January after the holiday sales. Um, but yeah, please let me know again in the comments below what you think about Miss Jordy and if you have her or not. Um, I'd love to know all of your opinions. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video with me. Um, I love you all so very much. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Mwah.